Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome to a new episode from Linguamid. In this important episode, we will learn 15 important phrases for dealing with a baby. Okay, so words, phrases, and also verbs that we can use daily in order to deal with our kids and with our babies in spoken Egyptian. But before I start, don't forget to enroll 100% free in my Egyptian Arabic 101 course. You will find the link in the first comment and also in the uh, description box and this is a full online course totally free and it has also a downloadable ebook so let's start our first word here is hadith el wulada hadith el wulada and hadith is from modern okay hadith modern which is from modern standard arabic hadith but in egyptian we say hadith not hadith, hadith. Okay, so we say hadith el wulada, hadith el wulada. And el wulada, it means birth. So hadith el wulada, it means newborn. Okay, newborn baby. Second one is tifl. Tifl, which means baby or toddler. Okay, so we say always tifl. And depending on the age of the baby, we can differentiate if it is a, a, a small baby and a few months, for example, or it is a newborn baby, or it is a toddler. Okay, it was um uh, a little bit older than this okay so it is always we say tifl okay tifl andi tifl i have a baby or a toddler our third word here or verb is yisannin yisannin so for male huwa yisannin for female heya tisannin and yisannin from sinan from teeth okay yisannin to grow new teeth okay yisannin so ibni bi sannin for example my kid uh, my son is growing new teeth. Yisannin or tisannin. To crawl. Crawl, it means yahbi. Yahbi. Okay, yahbi. So the baby is crawling. It means a tifl biyahbi. Biyahbi or bitahbi if it, uh, for female. Okay, so binti bitahbi dilwati or ibni biyahbi dilwati. Yahbi to crawl. To burp. Okay, burp a baby, it means yakarra, okay, or yitkarra. This means, uh, I, I think it sounds really difficult for you right now, but it needs some training. So yakarra, yakarra is to make the, bur the baby burp, okay, to make him burp, okay, yakarra, yakarra, okay, and yitkarra is to burp, okay, if the baby, tifli yitkarra, so baby burps, and ana bakarra. Bakarra al baby, so I hold him or her and then yeah, try to make him or her burp. Okay, this is the meaning of to burp. Yikarra, yikarra. Koliki baby or fuzzy baby. We say also koliki, and sometimes we say just huwa andu magas or binti andaha magas. Okay, she has a problem in her stomach. Okay, stomach, stomach ache, and we always. Also say colicky, okay. So in my experience, I heard uh, the name colicky a lot during this, in this speci especially in this generation. Maybe our fathers didn't use it, but you can use colicky baby all the time in Egypt. Or uh, so colicky baby or tifl andu magas alatul mag andu magas all the time alatul. Magas is um, um, stomach ache, okay? All the time, ala tool, andu magas. He has this stomach ache, he is colicky, okay? He is colicky, or she is colicky. So, andu magas, and you can also say colicky. Also, here is a word from Italian. We have the bottle of the baby in Egyptian, it means biberon, or bibrona. We say biberona or biberon. And this is from uh, Italian, also biberona. Okay, so it is a word that came directly from Italian and we use it a lot. Okay, so Anna Maya Biberona. I have the bottle for the baby. Okay, Biberona. Okay, Biberona or Bibron. Another very important phrase <laughs> for babies to change diapers. Okay, change diapers it means Yagayar Hafada. Okay, Yagayar Hafada. To change it means Yagayar. And simply we can also say in Egyptian. يغير. And ابني عايز يغير. Okay, يغير without any object, just to change, it means to change diapers. Okay, if we want to say the, the whole phrase, the complete phrase, we say يغير حفاضة, change diapers. حفاضة, 
حفاضه نوت حفاضه حفاضه ض اوكي نوت حفاضه حفاضه وصداد اوكي سو يغير حفاضه ات مينز تو تشينج دايبرز ذا فيرب تو كالم داون ات هاز تو مينينجز اوكي ديبندينج اون هو از كالمينج داون If you are calming down the baby, you say أنا بهدي الطفل. Okay, أنا بهدي ابني. I am calming the baby down. Okay, بهدي بهدي. أنا بهدي بهديها. I'm calming him, calming her. Okay. If I want to talk about the baby, so I say the baby is calming down by himself. Okay, هو بيهدى بيهدى. Okay, so either يهدي to calm down. somebody or to calm down yehda okay yehda so yehda or yehdi if the baby is feeling bad or need um, a hug from you or something you say ana ma'ak ana ma'ak or ana ma'aki i am with you ana ma'ak or ana hina ma'ak i am here with you okay so ana ma'ak i am with you to male ana ma'aki i am with you to female from time to time we need to tell our babies okay that i made a mistake it's no wrong about it okay ana ghalit okay ana ghalit i made a mistake and also it's very important to let him or her uh, learn this if he or, or or she made a mistake she should say say it i made a mistake and i am sorry okay so i made a mistake it means ana ghalit ghalit Uh, يغلط to make a mistake. This is the verb in the present. يغلط. غلط. This is the past tense. So أنا غلط. I made a mistake. أنا غلط. I made a mistake. أنا آسف. So completing from the last phrase. أنا عملت. أنا غلط. أنا I made a mistake. I أنا عملت غلطة. So <laughs> أنا غلط. I did uh, something wrong. I am sorry. أنا آسف. أنا آسف. And if a female is talking, she's saying أنا أسفة. أنا أسفة. So أنا آسف or أنا أسفة. If you want to play with your kid, okay, you say simply, let's play. يلا نلعب. يلا نلعب. يلا here is let's. Okay, يلا. يلا in Egyptian. And sometimes also we say يلا بينا. نلعب. Okay, so we add بينا to يلا, which gives actually no extra meaning. It always, it also has the meaning of let's play. Okay, يلا بينا نلعب or يلا نلعب. It means let's play. Give me a hug. It means اديني حضن or احضني. Okay, حضن, it means hug. حضن as a noun in Arabic, in Egyptian. حضن. And اديني, give me. The verb idini give me hodn idini hodn so you can't tell your baby say to your baby idini hodn your child idini hodn or instead of idini hodn you can simply say instead of give me a hug just hug me which is ohdunni ohdun this is a verb so I am uh, requesting a hug ohdun ni and then ni it means me. Okay, me, the object. Ohdunni. Okay, so ohdunni or idini uh, hodn, both are the same. Our last word here is sirir um, al-baby, which is the cradle of the baby. Sirir al-baby. And we use sirir as well to mean a bed. Okay, a normal bed, sirir. But for the baby, we say sirir al-baby, simply. So the bed for the baby. Okay, sirir al-baby, which is the cradle. Now let's summarize. We know some very important words like حديث الولادة, طفل حديث الولادة, يسنن, يتكرع, okay, اديني uh, حضن, اديني حضن, أنا آسف, uh, أنا غلط, and also um, يغير, or يغير حفاضة, and so on. So all these words are very common and you will hear them very often around raising kids and babies. So don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to my channel, like this episode as well, and also uh, enroll in my uh, online course, free online course 101, uh, and download my ebook. You'll find the link in the first comment and also in the description box. And if you have any question, just drop me a comment below. Thanks and have a good day.